First and foremost, giving all praises, honor and glory unto the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Akakadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to the Akim, all the portionless gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom to all the humble and sincere sisters out there as well. Come now with this lesson today entitled, This is the Balance of Things. And the balance I will be talking about is the recompense right, of tribulation and destruction unto the Edomites, right, the redemption. Because the twelve tribes of Israel, right, we sin against the Mosai. Right, everything that befell us was our own doings because we sinned against the Mosai. The most I still see that these nations will pay for what they have done. So just as we went into slavery, just as we were raped, robbed and murdered, the 12 tribes of Israel, the blacks, the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, right? The Mexicans, you know, the, the, the ones that they call Spanish, right? We are, the, we are the 12 tribes of Israel, right? They have nothing to do with hair texture and color of skin, but has to do with ethnicity, right? Nationality, with bloodline, right? Because it's those people that the curses befell, right? When you read the book of Deuteronomy 28, and you read all the curses that fell upon the, the so-called blacks, right, with the transatlantic slave trade, right, being brought from West Africa into the, the Americas and Caribbean and, you know, born men and born women, right, and for the, the natives, right, getting their land stolen from them and being put enslaved, right, Hundreds of millions of us were killed, right? Our mothers and our wives, the women of our, of our people, they were raped, right? These nasty, they might even raped our brothers, you know? Murdered our children, right? Babies were used as bait for alligators, right? We give them, we, we give them our lives, right? We built, we build their, their kingdom, right? We are the ones that build their kingdom, and yet we are the lowest of the low, right? And just how it is, they will rebuild our kingdom, then they would be the lowest of the low. So let me get into it. First scripture is Isaiah 14 and 21. See, so prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. <coughs> right, so you either might saw the we like to say that you had nothing to do with slavery. That you, you, you are not the men that put us in slavery. Right? But all you don't understand reincarnation. You all were those men. You were the same men and women that wronged us. Right? You were the same people that oppressed us for hundreds of years. The scripture says, prepare slaughter for his children. Right? You are the descendants. You understand? You all, Moses said, prepare slaughter for you all. Right? For you all in this, in, in this life that you are lying right now. Right? As the descendants of your forefathers, which in the spirit 
with you right to prepare slaughter to prepare destruction right for you or for you either mites let's say that it say that they do not rise nor possess the land right so you all you all wouldn't you all wouldn't get an opportunity ever again to build over a kingdom for all yourself right they say now fill the, the face of the world with cities there won't be any more babylon you all wouldn't have any more power right no more pride no more strength in, in your hand right you'll be brought low you'll be brought into the dust Just as we are. Psalms 137 and 1 it said, By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there they that carried us away captive captive required of us a song they that wasted us required us mirth saying required of us mirth so like you're saying sing us one of the songs of Zion and say how oh, shall we sing the Mosai's song in a strange land if I forget the O Jerusalem let my right hand forget her cunning if I do not remember thee let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth if I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said, Raise it, raise it. And the definition of raise is mean to, to overthrow. Right? Say, so even to the foundation thereof. Say, O oh daughter of Babylon, who, ought, who are to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast saved us. Happy shall he be. I take it and dash it thy little ones against the stones. Right? O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Right? That is your fate, Edom. For Jacob, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. You are to be destroyed. That, that is your destiny. Right? And all our destinies and fates are already set before the foundation. Everything was already planned. Right? And your plan, your your days come into our end. Right? Say happy shall he be that taken and dash the little ones against the stones. Right? Just as you did to us. Right? Up in um I think it's North, North Carolina, up in that area, right? Where you would still have care for a wrong about the um, area, but in those places you would take this, the, when the slaves go to work, you would sneak in and take the, the, the little ones, right? And use them as bait for alligators, right? On Sundays, as a game, you would take slaves and line them up and use them as target practice. Right? This is what the people have done. They have physically, mentally, and spiritually ruined our nation. Right? Physically, you destroyed us with beatings. Right? Tear away our flesh. Mentally, right? Your brothers don't know. No, no, all people, all people hate themselves. They hate what they are. They prefer blonde hair, right? They prefer leprous hair. They prefer blue eyes, right? They prefer um, red skin, right? They, they, they prefer to look like you. They prefer to talk like you. They prefer to, to be you than their own self. And spiritually have destroyed us with your religions, Christianity and Islam and, and Buddhism. Well, all, all these religions 
we have allowed you know for our destruction our number one being Christianity right the same religion you use as a weapon to subdue our people force our people into your religion and then you fast forward a couple hundred years our people here believe in in Jesus Christ and that God loves all people don't care that they are Israel right they don't care to learn the names of the Mosai, Yahweh, why I was shy they don't, they don't care about keeping the laws right our people has uh, become as just as you become heathens and that is all you're doing right now we know through the spirit is our bashim our sha is doing that the most controls all things but on this plane right this physical right you all are the ones that are doing it right that have done it and you will be destroyed for that Revelation chapter 13 verse 10 he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity he that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword here is the patience and the fate of the saints right and the saints are the men of the lord right the men and the women of the lord the people of israel that still keep the law such and commandments that the most i chose the most i awoke right the, the ones that the most i gave i see and i say here right that do his will the best of the ability say say that or uh, the patient and the faith of the saints right this is what we're waiting for to see those that led us into captivity go into captivity the ones that murdered us with the sword right that killed hundreds of millions of natives right and so-called blacks right kill us with the sword with all your, your to all your sophisticated weapons or to all sophisticated at the time in comparison to the weapons the natives on them had that is the reason you won right. when you go back into your blessing you see the reason for that right because he saw was a man of the field a cunning hunter you understand Go back to this Revelation 13 and 10. It says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the fate of the saints. You are going to get put to death. Just as you put all people to death. They're going to get subdued. They're going to go into captivity, hardcore bondage. Just as we did. And you will rebuild our kingdom. Just as we built yours. Exodus 21 and 16 And he that stealeth a man and selleth him For if he be found in his hand He shall surely be put to death And this for you so called Arabs as well Right? Because you sold us to Esau Right? If you go, go into the books and you see that they will start They will start fires in villages at night Right? And through all the flames and the smoke it would steal us, right? Through all different sorts of raids, right? You stole us and sold us, right? Till he shall surely be put to death. Is that what you Edomites, that what you other nations, that what you did? You, you stole us and you sold us, right? You sold us for guns, you sold us for wine.
the most I forget the most I forget we have we have done to his people This is Habakkuk 2 and 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town of blood, establisheth a city by iniquity. The definition of the word woe means destruction. So destruction to him that buildeth a town of blood. How was America built? When Christopher Columbus came, right? and he, he, he proclaimed that he discovered America. Right. That way, that way the, the bloodshed started. Right. When you people celebrate this um, this Thanksgiving. Right. That way the bloodshed started. Hundreds of millions of natives, right, or people, put to death by the hands of Esau. Right. You see an establish it a city by iniquity look at your look at your country look at your look at what you have created in babylon it's homosexuality this lgbt it's feminism is atheism is transgenderism all these isms right you have you have things like for other kings will be people literally saying that the gender is an animal. You have sorcery. Right? And then you have the law, this, this, the judicial system. Completely biased. People being wrongfully accused. Because you, you all were not made to be the judges of this world. There's nothing right about your system, about your will. It is complete iniquity and contradicts everything our Bashmi Ashai says. So woe unto you, destruction unto you. Numbers 35 and 33. So you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Right. So this land, right, North America, even part of South America, the Caribbean. And all other parts of the world, because we were we were split to the four corners, and we were slaves all over. All right, all the blood that has been shed on that on that land, on this land. All right, the only way for that land to be clean and to be cleansed is by the blood of Him. That shed the, shed the blood in the first place. Where you see, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed there, but by the blood of him that shed it. See, see, the most is showing us that you people, you have no hope. You are not going to get saved. Right? Yahweh Shah didn't come to save you all. Right? He came for the Israelites. He came to, to die for his sins. And for the sins of his people. Okay? You saw you're gonna get what's coming to you. Mass destruction and slavery and bondage. And then you're gonna be eradicated from this way. And you all all your other nations as well. Every one of you is gonna be brought down underneath our feet. Okay? You all gonna be subdued. 
So I hope it's just someone said it's fine. Give no praises and all glory unto the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Akakadash, Shalom.